Hey guys, Laura Williams here from Girls Gun Sporty, and today I'm doing a review of an Eat Smart Digital Precision kitchen scale and um, I just wanted to say first of all if you don't already have a kitchen scale and you really want to get a handle on what you're eating then getting a kitchen scale can be a great asset to you. Uh, there are lots of reasons why kitchen scales are beneficial but one of the main ones is so you can really get a picture of what different serving sizes look like. Um, you hear all the kind of you know a serving of meat is the same as the palm of your hand but Different people have different size hands, <laughs> and uh, you know, a serving of uh, one ounce of cheese is the same size as two dice stacked on top of each other. But what size dice? I mean, there's a lot of kind of ambiguous uh, suggestions out there. And if you're really serious about wanting to get a, a picture of what serving sizes look like, d digital kitchen scale is a great way to go. Um, so I'm gonna just kind of show you for one. You know, cheese is one of those things, they say it's an ounce um, that you should eat per serving. If you're eating cheese sticks, that's really easy to follow. <laughs> but if you're just taking a big chunk of cheese, it's not as clear. So how many slices of cheese, um, if you're slicing them up for a party, do you need to have that one ounce serving? So um, I actually went ahead and took a couple slices and just took them off the end you know you've got your two slices and I'll set one of them on this I've got it set to give me ounces so I can choose between ounces pounds or grams for this particular scale so I'll drop one of them on there and it comes back at 0.75 ounces I'll drop the other one on there and it's 0.3 ounces so together you're looking at essentially one ounce for those two slices of cheese. So if you're looking at cheese and crackers, this is all a serving is. You know, you don't want to go overboard and end up eating like 12 of these slices of cheese just because you're eating 12 crackers. So then moving on to meat, meat's another big one. They say a serving of meat is three to four ounces, but what's that look like? And meat comes in all sorts of widths and lengths and sizes and types and so what's three ounces of beef compared to three ounces of chicken or a thin sliced steak compared to a thick sliced steak so um, I have a couple pieces of steak here and um, they're all different sizes but I'll show you what two of them are so we've got this one which looks like a reasonably sized serving not huge but you know good size so I'll just slap that on there and that came back at two ounces. So that's actually less than a serving. You could tack on more beef to get a full serving. Then I'll take this one right here. And it's bigger. It's a little bit thicker as well. These are thin sliced steaks, so they're not very thick to begin with. But if I slap that on there, we're looking at exactly three ounces. So that's essentially a serving. You can maybe have a little bit more to round out your meal. But um, really, you know, these... These are good sizes, and they're a lot smaller than what you get at a restaurant. Um, so getting a handle on what serving sizes look like, measuring stuff at home, even if you don't do it forever, at least for a couple months, just to kind of get yourself in the habit of knowing what reasonable, regular <laughs> portions and serving sizes are. So anyway, um, this also applies for your, uh, your flours and your grains. <laughs> uh, different grains and different flours weigh different amounts. So if a, a you know, recipe calls for a third cup of whole wheat flour, well, that's going to weigh differently than a third cup of quinoa. And so if you want to be more accurate, get more accurate recipes, actually using a kitchen scale is going to get you there. So um, this is, again, the Eat Smart Digital Precision Elite Kitchen Scale. Um, it works really well, super easy to use. Um, they're not paying me to say this. I like it. I did get it for free. Um, but just if you're in the market for a kitchen scale, if you're trying to get yourself on track, it's a great way to go. So be sure to check back um, to get more reviews. We've got more stuff coming up. And head over to our website as well girlsgunsporty.com.